guys, this is Jill from stampwithjill.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this Merry Christmas card with some ink blending and some spotlighting of the sentiment. So let's get started. First off, I have a Merry Christmas panel on Limeade Splash cardstock. So this is a lighter, brighter green because we're going to shadow with some dark colored inks. And the Merry Christmas is from this Concord and Ninth stamp set and it is called very, it says snow flurry, but it's called very merry on it and very merry sentiments. And I used this big one. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I have here is I have two mini distressed ink pads. One is pine needles and one is mowed lawn and then I have some sponge daubers to go with it. And that's what we're gonna work with pretty much most of this video. So we're gonna start with the lighter one, which is mowed lawn. And we're just gonna go ahead and attach that to the dauber. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ink this up like this. And we are gonna start uh, sponging. I like to start off of the cardstock and then kind of go on to the cardstock. And then we're just gonna keep going around and kind of spotlighting around the sentiment. And we're starting with the lighter color and then we're gonna to move to the darker color to add a little bit more dimension. So I kind of hold my dauber a little bit lower to have a little bit more control and it kind of helps not get circles. So you can see it just sort of rubbing lightly on there. This is pretty inky because I've used it a couple times to practice, but you, I start off and I'm using this silicone mat. So I mean, you can use scratch paper or grid paper too, but it kind of slides easier on this silicone. So you can see I'm kind of just adding color all the way around. And this shade is just a, a little bit darker than um, the cardstock. It'll dry up just a smidge lighter, and it does take a little bit of time to dry. These distressed inks don't just dry, dry, up, dry right away. I kind of smudged some things with ink on my fingers. All right, so you can see I kind of have gone all the way around, a little bit more to go. And it, it doesn't have to be, I mean, it's definitely not perfect. I mean, there are some a little bit of circles, but you can see for the most part, once you kind of get the hang of it, it, it's pretty straightforward. So that's the first step. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this off and set it aside. Well, actually, I'm gonna close up this little ink pad. And these are new for me, so I've never had these before. So that's why I stuck with the mini ones. But I put a little piece of Velcro on the bottom so I could save the dauber pad. All right, so this one is pine needles. It is a little bit darker, so we're gonna go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna put the dauber on here. Now, because that's a little bit damp, I don't want my fingers are already a little bit green. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some copy paper and I'm just gonna put it over top. I'm gonna ink this up same way I did and I'm gonna just go in just a little bit on the corners to kind of give it a little bit more, I don't want to say depth, but a little bit more color. So you can see right now that those corners are going to be, this corner is a little bit darker. So then we're going to just go around, same thing, a little bit on each corner. And it blends really, really nicely. So I've never had these inks before, so it's new for me. It's kind of a fun little toy to have. And then we'll kind of just go over here. So you can see it's a little bit darker on these three edges that I've done. So I just have a little bit more to do down here. And that is about it. And it adds really, really cool dimension to your cardstock. All right, so then I'm just gonna kind of lightly wipe it across where I maybe missed a spot or two. And it kind of blends those circles a little bit too. So I kind of have a circle right here can you see that in the screen, that little tiny circle? So I'm just gonna go over that a little bit with darker ink and kind of blend that in. So there's really no mistakes. Now you can hardly see it. So the, if you start with circles, just keep layering your ink. All right, so now we're done with this. I'm gonna peel this off. 
and put this underneath here and set these aside because I won't need them anymore. So I am a little inky. All right, so now I can also move this mat and this silicone mat just wipes off with a baby wipe. So it's super, super easy to clean and it keeps your work surface clean too. All right, so I am a little bit inky. So I have a card base here that's white and we are gonna fold that in half. And hopefully I will not get ink all over the card. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue this down. So I'm just gonna turn this upside down. You can see some ink got on the back and some, there, some ink got on the back and on my fingers, but I think we'll be okay. So we're just gonna add some tape here. And for this one, because the cardstock's a little bit wet, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the corners. I went off the edge there, whoops. Just kind of roll that back with my finger. All right, so now we have it ready to be put on the card. Um, the first card I made, I actually set it aside for a little bit. And we're gonna center that up like that. And you can see it really pops off of white, a white card base. All right, so then I'm just gonna go like this so I don't get any more ink on my hands. Kind of seal that up. And then we have your card. So the next thing we're gonna do is I die cut some fresh forest holly leaves here. And that was die cut with this snapshot frames. There's holly in the word joy for Christmas, but it covers Halloween, Valentine's, and fall. So I have these two, we're just gonna tape these right on. Um, but I did forget something, so I forgot. I'm just gonna put this piece of paper here. I forgot to add the sparkle silk. So here I have some sparkle silk. This kind of adds the snow effect, and it kind of splatters, so you wanna have some paper underneath of it. So just use that copy paper. I'm gonna hold the card closed. It doesn't matter if you do it before the card is mounted or after it, but you're just gonna to wanna to tap some like this all over your card. And this also takes a second to dry. And then if you, like I really want one little splatter here at the bottom, you just kinda touch it. And you can add some where you missed. All right, so there you go. We have some, some kind of snow there. And I'm gonna set the silk aside. And then let me find those two little leaves. All right, so here are the two little leaves. So we're gonna go ahead and put some tape on here. Um, liquid glue would work really good too because your cardstock is a little bit damp, but we can go ahead and tape that on. And I did this in darker cardstock, so it would really pop off the green. Okay, so there we go, we have two of those. Then the last step for the card is the holly drops, or the holly berries. And for this one, I used these Nouveau Drops. And I can actually take this off of the paper now. So I used these Nouveau Drops, but here's the thing. I actually put them right on the card, and because this was a little bit raised, it turned into a big, yucky blob. So instead, I decided to pull in my silicone mat. This is a different one. And I made a whole bunch of dots, and then I glued them on the card. So here, you can see the, the dots are perfect. I should have taken a picture of the one I threw in the trash because it, this literally all blobbed together because they take they take a couple hours to dry, like a few hours. So I put these on before I, before I left my stamp room, shut the lights off, and when I came back the next day, they're nice and hard. And they literally just peel right off like candy dots. So we are gonna go ahead and glue those on with some, I'm just gonna use this multi-glue here. And I'm just gonna put three little dots of glue here where I want the berries, like that. And then I am gonna grab my, I have these tweezers here where I can pick these up. Now I've never used these before, so who knows if I'm actually gonna be able to do it. Yep, yeah, that would be no. All right, so we're just gonna go with it with fingers. Learn how to use those tweezers later. But we're just gonna push that right onto the glue. Pick the next one up, same thing. Pop that right up on the glue. 
pick this next one up and same thing pop it right on the glue little drop of glue and there you have it so we're going to go ahead and let that dry and these will be solid and they're not smushy or anything but they're super super shiny love these little drops um, definitely a learning curve though when you start to use them you'll be seeing them on a lot of projects i have quite a few colors in my collection now so here's the final project and here is my original so you can see they're pretty easy to put together Thanks for joining me today.